Welcome to the channel guys, in this video I'll be showing you how I made this bow of soap so you may want to stick with me till the end and don't forget to share my video to all your friends and family. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be making soap. I posted an initial video where I made a lightning bar soap from a melt and pour soap base. Today I want us to make that same soap but from scratch using lye, water and oils. So I want you guys to see the different um, methods that you can use to achieve soap. First of all, I want to introduce you to my safety gear. Because we're going to be using lye aka caustic soda aka sodium hydroxide, you have to protect yourself to avoid any form of incidents like burns, explosions, whatever. Believe me, caustic soda can actually burn your skin and you want to be protected, okay? So, when you want to make any soap from scratch, you have to cover your face. Having a shield like this, maybe a goggle or a face mask is key. You see, you have to protect your face. I don't know if you can hear me from here, but you have to protect your face in case there's any splash, it doesn't hurt your face. Secondly, you want to wear gloves. Ladies and gentlemen, lying itself is very hot. When mixing it, you will find out that it is very hot. So you don't want to touch any of that with your bare hands to avoid burning. And also, you want to wear a sort of long sleeves if you don't have a lab coat. Wear any long thing that can protect you so if there's a splash, it doesn't come to your skin directly. Now that I have shown you the different protective gears that you can use and also don't forget another safety um, precaution you need to take is ensure that wherever you are mixing your soap is an airy environment. Sometimes maybe you live with people you don't want them to know your measurements or recipes for your soap. Probably you want to start a soap business and you want to hide to make it. Be careful because you need to use an airy environment that to make your soap okay and also you also want to ensure that your water you're not using hot water this is not lotion creation we are not trying to emulsify the water we are not heating up the water so you want to make sure you're using cold water if you don't have access to a refrigeration a refrigeration system you can use normal room temperature water but you have to keep your life forever anyways let us get into the video you'll see all of that bits i don't want to talk too much so I have all my ingredients set, my olive oil, palm kernel oil, coconut oil, I put all the ingredients on the screen, that's my light there and this is my carotene extract and that's my fragrance oil and this is my kojic, I added 3 teaspoons of, of water into the kojic acid, all the ingredients used will be listed on the screen. So I mixed this together prior to when I started filming so the kojic acid can be you know melting down and this is my turmeric powder and my honey as well I'll be adding honey and those are my two essential oils tea tree and lemon essential oil and this is my mold I've already spritz it with some um, isopropyl alcohol aka methylated spirit that's what I used and this is my scale which I use to measure every single thing you can't actually make soup without a scale all right now I'm just trying to illustrate to you here. I actually initially put my water in that beaker and put it in the freezer. I just wanted it to be chilled a bit because you have to use um, chilled water or at least room temperature water for your soap. But I forgot it in the freezer and it overstayed. The water became blocked and it broke my beaker. See the hole underneath it? So of course, I'm showing you this mishap so you can also learn from it. That's the essence of the video. So never put your um, glass because in your freezer please now i'm going to just measure out the quantity of water i'll be needing for this recipe this is actually a little bit chilled water if you don't have a freezer you don't have chilled water you can use normal room temperature water i use tap water for this because my tap water is actually very good very clean i don't have hard water no minerals in it now 
because i used three teaspoon of water in that um, kojic acid i'm going to have to extract out three teaspoon of water from my basin yes i have to do that because i mean this soap has exact quantities i don't want to alter any um, quantity of any of the ingredients so that's me just removing the teaspoons of water that i initially added so guys the next thing i'm going to do is to add my lye into my water please do not put your water into your lye the lye goes into the water to avoid any form of explosion please now this lye is very hot sometimes you can use ice block like blocked water immediately you put the lye into the ice blocks you will find out that the ice blocks will automatically begin to melt at this point this lye was so hot that's why people use chilled water I never warm or hot water the basin was so hot I could feel the heat coming out of it and that's why I had to stop stirring because you don't even want to over stir I'm just going to allow that light to dissolve and when it's chilled when it's calmed down to room temperature I will make use of it I can't use it when hot never use it when hot like this and I'm even avoiding to stir it see the way I'm demonstrating my hands I was trying to feel the steam coming out from it so I'll be back when this light water has cooled down and now right now my light water has cooled down this is like more than one hour later more than 30 minutes later i just decided to give my kojic acid a little stir to see if it has dissolved you know somewhat now i want to mix all my oils together olive oil went into the palm kernel oil and the more transparent oil is the coconut oil i'll just mix them all together all right And then I'm also adding my carotone extract. I'm going to turn in my carotone extract into the water because yes, guys, I left this carotone extract overnight and the water evaporated, leaving me with some powder form. So I also used like one teaspoon of my water from my formulation and added it to the carotone extract. Then this is the kojic acid. I'm turning in the kojic acid into the water as well. And I'm going to stir that up all right and I'm getting ready to turn in my oils you see saponification soap is a mixture of oil fat and water every other thing is just your own um, artistry what I added there is the turmeric powder I added the turmeric powder into the water and I'm giving that a stir you see how it made it look kind of like really dark change the color I'm not going to be adding any form of color to this soap because the ingredients the turmeric and the carotene already has their own colors now this is where the magic begins I want you to see how this our formulation will begin to change I'm adding the oil right now into the liquid and you're going to see how it's going to begin to thicken and I'm going to stir it to get something called trace but I have my immersion blender I will need to use my immersion blender for this if you don't have a immersion blender you may want to stir vigorously for a very long time it will take you a long while to get to trace so I've gotten my immersion blender, I connected it to electricity and I'm just going to blend my soap, okay? It's called an immersion blender because it's not like the normal blender you use for your tomatoes and all that. You see how my um, soap is going to begin to change from, from that liquid to have some form of thickness we call trace. When you know your soap has trace, that means when you turn it you can see some lines like you're tracing something on top of it and do not over mix so that you don't get to trace um, too soon you don't get it to be too thick that's if you want to make any design on your soap and all of that don't forget guys I have like a premium soap course 
for people who want to go into soap business who really want to take their soap making seriously and um, you're going to have one-on-one access with me i'll teach you show you everything because from youtube i may not be able to answer all your questions and queries you may send a message i might not see it till hours later or days later but in the course you're going to have a one-on-one access to me you don't have to go from youtube to youtube trying to figure out different videos you're going to get different recipes from me learn how to make your soap confidently i'll teach you everything you need to know so all i'm just doing is just um, mixing up that soap i've already gotten my trace should have stopped at this moment but because i was not really i i was not interested in you know adding any color or working any extracting in this soap i just kept going guys this is a good time to stop mixing your soap because i noticed that my soap became um my soap got to trace really quickly and when i was trying to mold my soap it was too thick and some parts of the molds did not fill up with soap and my soap came out having spaces which should not occur so that can easily be prevented by not um over blending your soap you see i was trying to show you the trace there the lines the line movement on my soap i will explain that completely in my soap course now people all i want to do is add in my fragrance oil i'm using the uh, lavender fragrance oil in my course i'll teach you the different fragrance oils that you need for your soap making business now you may or may not need to put essential oil most people do not use essential oils for their soaps they just use good fragrance oils because the truth is essential oil will make your soap to it will accelerate the trace in your soap i kid you not oh my god so you have to be careful while using essential oils what i'm trying to put is my honey i just added one tablespoon of honey into the soap so this is the reason why um, natural handmade soaps are different from those other soaps you buy out there because these ones are we use pure natural ingredients to achieve whatever we want from my soap course you're going to have up to seven different tested recipes that you can work with i'll teach you how to even create your own recipes what i'm adding now is the essential oil i'm just going to add about 10 drops of each of the essential oils tea tree essential oil and lemon essential oil and you're going to see what just happened it's accelerated like the trace accelerated my soap became too thick and difficult to work with so i could have just see you see that you see you see what i'm saying now very thick it just switched up real fast now i could have filmed a different video where i didn't have to blend for so long and where i had to um mold quickly but i decided to release this video so you can learn okay i didn't just want to show you only perfection so i wanted you to see so that you know what happens you know when your soap actually gets to trace really fast and what essential oils can actually do for your soap and why some people avoid essential oils and see the error i made mixing turning this soap into the mold i wasn't very careful enough to ensure i fill in some spaces i just poured it in and i didn't heat the soap down enough and that's why i had that um, challenge at the end of the video you will see the marks on the soap so i posted this video purposely so you can learn from this and i didn't really bother about filling in the modes accurately because i have no plans of selling this particular batch i am going to use it for myself or maybe gift it to anybody if anybody wants now for this particular batch of soap i made i was supposed to get at least almost five bars but well i still got four full bars and a little tiny bit i added into a smaller mode so all I'm trying to do is fill up, but it's already too late. My soap is too thick, and <laughs> if this was a loaf mode, it would have been so much e so much easier because you can heat the loaf mode. It has weight. Probably the silicon mode will be in inside a, a wooden mode, and you can just heat it, shake it, and ensure that everything levels up. 
but for such small moves like this there was little to nothing i can do without making a mess in fact at the end of the day i made a mess of the whole uh, of the whole silicone mode but of course the soap still came out well anyways so i wanted you guys to learn this thing and be away the soap still came out well still came out nice but then filling in your mode is key so that you will have that crisp clean mode in fact it's best that you pour your soap in when it's not too thick so you can easily fill your soap cavities right so yeah so guys i have yesterday i covered my soap with a nylon and covered it with a thick cloth and kept it in an oven right the oven was not on if you don't have an oven you can put it in a dark cupboard or just keep it in any dry place okay the reason i did that was in order for me to induce the gel phase so let's unmold our soap and see what it looks like wow this is beautiful oh my god it has some wow oh my god yesterday um this soap got to trace really quick because of the essential oils and i'm just noticing that some of the soaps do not did not fill up quite well but it's not a bad soap it's not a bad deal at all but some of the soaps did not fill up quite well as you can see but this is good it's a hard bow so this is definitely a hard bow so so i'm going to get a bowl of water and let's taste and let's experiment and see how bubbly our soup will be. Avoid such errors, okay? What you're going to need to do is ensure you heat this thing properly and ensure that when you're freezing in your soup, you're pushing the soup into every corner. I didn't do that yesterday and that's why I'm having this dentition of my soup, okay? So you don't want to have such errors in your own soap but this is beautiful and also in my paid class i'm going to be giving you different essential oils that you can use that is really compatible with your soap you can even leave essential oils out of your soap completely not everybody uses essential oils so that you don't experience that um, trace like <laughs> the trace yesterday it got to trace real quick like it was automatic i had a normal trace Immediately I put in the essential oils, it just got to automatic trace. Wow, like you can see from that video, it became that means it became very thick. So let's test and see if our soap is foaming enough. So I'll just pick one soap, and this is a clean bowl of water, and I'm just going to experiment. Wow, see, I love the ladder, it ladders so well, so well, ladders so, so well, so, 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 so well, and the scent is actually not bad at all, yes, the scent is not bad, I'm also going to be showing you different kinds of fragrance oils you can use for your soap making. All right, if you take my soap making course, I'm going to show you all of that. That will give you a strong scent because not all scents can last after saponification. This soap is very bubbly, it has so much ladder. So, so much. Look at the ladder. You see, I've dropped my soap just but see all the ladder it's produced. See all the ladder it produced. So, it's a good soap. So I want you guys to try making your own soap and give me feedback on the outcome of your soap. Alright? Thank you for watching. That's it. So before I forget, I also need to add that you can't use these soaps immediately. You're going to need to keep them for the next four weeks so that they can cure. That means curing means for all the lye on the soap to, you know, to remove and for the water to evaporate. 
and for this soap so that you can have a long lasting bar if the longer you keep your bar the longer it will last if you start using these bars immediately they won't last okay but you have a firmer a harder bar and then of course it's safe for skin after four weeks all the lines would have gone off from the soap and your soap will be ready to use but there's also another method of making soap that is called the hot process method that one you can actually use your soap in between the next day to the next four days it doesn't need to stay for four weeks okay and that is actually in my advanced soap making course and there's the milk and pour that we did initially that one you can actually just use it even right away immediately the soap hardens from the video that I shared before okay so it's time to go take care of yourself practice making your own soap and have fun